Hey folks, Chris and Paul back again. I believe we are on episode eight of the Insight Sessions. Welcome, and we are talking today around something that comes up a lot um, in a lot of our groups, our e-commerce groups. We do a lot of audits, a lot of website audits for clients, and this is a very, very common sort of website optimization structural piece that's easy to fix, but also easy not to do. And I think that's people, a lot of people miss it, but when it's done correctly, it can have a major impact on the website. And when it's not done, it can again have a major negative impact on your website. And that is the topic of how to use and structure H1, H2, H3 tags on your website. So Paul, for people that don't know what the hell an H1 tag is, what is an H1 tag? And then we can get into you know, how, how do we use them? Why are they so important? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, geez, I, thought, I don't know. I thought you knew the answer to that. I was just going to No, no, I don't. You're, you're oh, right, the expert, okay. mate. I oh, hang on. Nothing. Hang on. I'll try and figure it out. No, no, all good. So as Chris mentioned, um, obviously, we, we run like a Shopify group uh, on Facebook. We run an I'm a business owner group on Facebook. Um, and as part of what we do in that group, we offer like free audits and pretty much like every single 90 percent of people probably even 95 percent of people in the shopify group they complete their audit and their audit is always like you know hey you're missing your h1 tag and um which after those people are like hey you know this is pr probably one of the top things you need to have on your page h1 tag h2 tag h3 tags now h1 tag basically means a header one tag so it's pretty much like the first line of text that you see when you land on you know a website for example so if you just you know if you were to look at websites like um i don't know like catch of the day or something or amazon like something like that you know there's a there's always something that kind of pops up right at the start that makes it really clear about what that page is about so amazon you might go to a you know a sports fishing outdoor section you know and their h1 tag pretty much most of the time is going to be like you know sports high uh, comma fishing blah, 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 outdoor section. So I know where I am, you know, but for some reason, a lot of um, Shopify sites seem to, I don't know why, but their themes don't even include H1 tags. So, um, and then if you don't have a H1 tag, basically what happens is that um, it pushes you down in the Google rankings. So Google is effectively a blind search engine, right? You know, it's, it's robots looking at a website. So it can't, well, you probably can by now, but it has a hard time reading text on images. You know, it, if you've got a massive photo on your website and ever the dude fishing, blah, 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 and there's no text around it, Google, you know, it can uh, to an extent, but largely it doesn't know what it is. So you need to tell them what that page is about. And it starts with the H1 tag. So for example, you know, it might say, you know, the H1 tag might be fishing gear, fishing equipment and fishing ex accessories from, you know, Australia's leading fishing store, for example. And I'll, I'll give you some examples of this as well. So, um, you know, and, and it doesn't need to be like super spammy as well. It kind of needs to make sense. You know, back in the old days, um, a H1 tag might be, you know, uh, carpet cleaner Melbourne, you know, and Google be like, okay, cool. We're going to rank them first because, you know, it's carpet cleaner Melbourne. Their domain name is carpet cleaner Melbourne, blah, blah, blah. But you need to get a bit more creative than that these days. So, what I'll do, um, Chris, did you say that I can actually screen share from my end yeah, as well? Yeah, you can share some stuff. Yeah, so yeah. As, as you're sharing, that, like this is an important point. Of, obviously, we as a web designers as well, right, we want our <laughs> websites to look pretty. We want them to be beautiful. We, and we, as copywriters, we still want to write compelling, high-converting copy. We don't just want Carpet Cleaner Melbourne. We want to tell people more about our site. So it, we're going to look at how you can still have an h1 tag that the google robots can read but then also still have it as a, a compelling interesting you know piece of copy on the website as well so that, that that's a you know, an important thing to to get both aspects right you don't just want carpet cleaners melbourne but you might want you know, melbourne's best carpet cleaners um utilizing silver nitrate <laughs> Yeah, or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll talk As we were just talking nitrate. about silver nitrate yeah. <laughs> with a customer. <laughs> Good example. Um, well, so what we'll do, and my apologies for jumping. I'm not dying of uh, of coughing. Sorry, I'm not dying of corona. I think about hay fever or something. So um, I'll load up screen share, and if I die during the process, Chris will take over. But um, so here we go. So, so this go. is 
uh share my screen i'll just make sure i don't have like nine million tabs open so the usual uh share screen is easy to two monitors what do i do that's it is it sharing uh this one you can see you can see yourself yeah. probably oh hang on we've just entered the matrix i will cancel that Ooh, now we can see on. there we go now it's all good we can see my google search is that right yeah yeah, cool. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So if I go to Google, for example, right, um, and I look again, th the point of using a H1 tag and doing 6 million other search engine optimization things is ultimately, so you rank in Google for these search terms. So I'll give you a couple of examples here, right? If we scroll past the millions of ads that are here, um, you know, as you can see, there's like fantastic furniture and we've got all these ones and blah, 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 like big, big, big name brands. Then we've got a brand like Mocha, who is still a big name brand, but not obviously not as big as Captain Snooze and all these places. But mm -hmm. um, so I've searched for kids' bedroom furniture. I've clicked on their ad and I come up with this website. So as you can see this here, and I hope I don't fall on my face here, but if I look at this tag and I go, um, this is H1. what go. yeah, this what Google sees is they what I did there is like when I inspected that element so it's called an element this h1 tag on this on this website is kids bedroom furniture right so um this website so mocha baby furniture they sell awesome products i've got heaps that are for for my little guy um that's the that's that's their h1 tag then if we dig into what is their h2 tag so um again we're talking about both of them so yeah, in this instance, their H2 tag is um, not being used properly. So whoever did their SEO, it's, it's great. Good, good job, guys. <laughs> but this should be their H2 tag um, in here. And they're using an obscene amount of text, but it's working for them. But traditionally, you'd use this. But for the point of this exercise, this is their H1 tag, right? Then if we use um, another example, like fishing gear, for example. So I've gone to Google and I've typed fishing gear and i found this website then i come over here and smack bank center they've got fishing gear equipment and supplies you know that's the h1 tag um it's it's right there it's clear it's catchy you know what it's about um now the point of this podcast is that i would say that like 95 percent of people we speak to who run <coughs> excuse me who run shopify stores don't have any H1 tags anywhere on their website, not the home page, not the category pages, not anywhere. So um, you need to work with your theme developers and stuff so that um, you're getting really tight H1 tags into the front page of your website. So have you seen this yourself as well, Chris? Well, oh, are you on mute? You're on mute, sorry. <laughs> sorry guys, technical issue there. Here's on mute, one second. <laughs> Here we go. So as I was Good saying, <laughs> I just said the best thing I ever said. Um, yeah, as you're saying, like we we get a ton of audits through, and a majority of them either don't have H1 tags, as you said, and that may be a Shopify issue, or they're not using them correctly. Even as we saw, like big shops where they're, they're an important piece of real estate, that H2 tag isn't even being used well. Um, but that you got really got to consider that H1 tag is one of the most important pieces or elements on on the on the website particularly on that home page or any page that you're trying to drive either paid or search traffic to right you want you want google to be able to recognize what that page is about so when it's blindly going through it says okay well, h1 this is about fishing gear they're doing they're running seo for fishing gear keyword so boom that's a match i'm going to send traffic to that site from, from a very from a basic perspective that's what we're trying to do is to identify those core pages on the site so that google can look at them and go cool i know what that site's about that's matching what this keyword they're, they're trying to rank for is and i'm going to send traffic i'm going to pass traffic because that one's better optimized than one that might have fishing tackle gear or something right if the keyword's fishing gear and i've got fishing tackle gear or i've got excellent fishing equipment at the top of my page but i'm trying to rank for fishing gear that's not going to correlate so you're not going to get the benefit so yep. simply changing that to map the, the core keyword on your page is going to you know drive that that organic growth from google yeah exactly so just as an example um 
I'm just going to, I've just, whilst Chris was muted and talking to himself and then unmuted and then talking to us, I, I loaded up our audit tool and we've had like 40 audits come through today or something, something stupid like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I just loaded the, I loaded the last four literally. So, um, so, you know, I, I'll share this with, I'll share this video with those people as well. So to give them some feedback, here's the first one. So this is great. Australian made soy candles. That's good from a search point of view but if you do inspect with this and you go um that's a h2 tag that should actually be a h1 tag so simply by changing that to a h1 tag they might get an extra 10 visitors 20 visitors a month potentially do you know what i mean so because google are going to go they're doing the right thing they're using the h the right tags we're going to reward mm. them we're going to give them more traffic so that's like okay not terrible you know here's here's the next one so i go here and i go okay so jams, chutney, sauces, what is this? So I'll, 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 again, I'll check H1 tag. H1 tag on this website is the logo. So um, there's another, there's no other H1 tag. It's the only thing is a logo. So again, this website could, you know, if they were to go Australian made jams, chut, chutneys, railways, sauces, and da, 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 as a H1 tag, and then had sub and then had a H2 tag underneath that, this site potentially if they're getting like 10 visitors now they might get you know 200 visitors a month by changing one thing another one mm. so a much nicer website um looking good you know finally a better way to feel better cool cool phrase you know um again it's not like it should also say something the lines of you know skincare that you know <laughs> is finally a better way to help you feel better blah 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 but if i look at this mm. again h1 and their h1 is their logo um hang a second that was the h2 that i found so i'll just re-inspect it inspect just for people wondering how to do this too you see what i did you just go right click and you click inspect in google chrome then you go to here and you just do control f um and you just search for h h1 and nothing and for, those, there anyway. for those for those of you that are listening to this on a pod, on, on Apple Podcast, um, this is available also over on our YouTube channel, um, which is in yep. the show notes. So yeah, click across and you can watch uh, the live view where we're doing this live on on these websites as we talk. So if you want to understand what we're actually talking about and get the visual, you can go check that out over on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So again, here's the final one. So from four from four, not one of them is getting it right. So again, their logo is a H1 tag. So and if I was mm -hmm. to look at the organic traffic that this site is getting um this might backfire on me completely but we'll just have a quick look so that, that, that's very likely a uh, a shopify setting then right so that's probably something if you're running a shopify store that you need to look at and get your devs to look at how do you yeah. swap out that that default h1 is the logo which okay so i don't look like a goose so this site basically gets zero traffic nothing at all it doesn't really rank for you know anywhere so what this person should be doing is this tag so 170 we're going a bit deeper here right so i hope this makes sense but this business actually um they sell beach homewares and 170 people search for that keyword a month so what they should do either on this page or on somewhere else on this website they need a page where the h1 tag on that page is beach homewares then the h2 tag is about hey we sell beach homewares at silver beach we source our beach homewares from countries all over the world we bring them to australia so you can have beautiful beach homewares at your house you know but none of that is really on this page because there's no h1 tag so google goes sorry guys i can't help you rank your site because i don't know what you're doing you know what i mean like mm. it's too broad it's not targeted so such simple stuff that so many people unfortunately get wrong um they go and buy these themes from Shopify and they're built by designers and not built by marketers. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Do I need to keep talking more about H1, H2, Chris? Or is that, you want to talk about H3s and stuff? I don't think that's as important. Yeah, I mean, that's just getting down. It's just getting further, further down the structure there, right? So, I mean, your key one, obviously, the, that key piece of real estate is the H1 and then H2, H3, H4, H5. I mean, the more of them you have, the more structure you're going to have on that page and Google's going to go, okay, this is about beach homewares, but it's also about Australian made beach homewares. And it's about 
beach combs and vases and handmade vases and intricate handmade vases. So it's got a really good idea of what that page is about. And it's just organically going to send more traffic when people are searching intricate handmade Australian made vase and you've got that tagged somewhere on your site, it's going to go, that's a match. So I'm going to send traffic to that page. So the more yep. the merrier, but yeah, generally you'll focus on the H1, H2 because those are the core um, bits of real estate. And then what you do once you've got the H1 to the H1 sort of your H2 tag, you go into the back end of your website and you throw that into the meta title of your page as well. So, you know, it'll be like, hey, kids size Melbourne, you know, free shipping Australia wide, blah, 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 whatever you want to put in there, you know, then the meta description mm. as well. Doing such simple things makes such a huge difference for a store. Um, as opposed to doing it like this, then you've got all people like in our community, they're like, Hey, we're running Facebook ads and we're doing, you know, content marketing and we're doing this. And like, I had a chat about with this, someone earlier, they like, we, we do like 60 blogs a month. We love it. We're really good at it. You know, our blogs are like 300 words. And I'm like, what kind of research goes into your blog? Oh, we just write about anything. I'm like, so you don't, and I had a look and I'm like, you don't have a H1 tag that says like, you know, um, topics like, you know, um, better hair for men or something like Chris has got, you know, fantastic mustache and hair, you know, they just like, no, nah, they don't, we don't research any of that. We just write about stuff. I'm like, no, your H1 tag needs to be related to stuff that people are actually searching for so that they find it. And then the keywords within the blog need to match up to your H1 and your H2 as well. <coughs> so that Google knows what you're writing about. And I'm like, oh, I get it. So, you know, it's really, really basic stuff that you, you can't, don't scrimp on, don't, you know, like don't sleep on this stuff. It's like super important. I can't press that enough. So yeah. if you're, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap that there in saying that, you know, if you're using Shopify, there's a pretty good chance that, you, that your theme is completely missing H1, H2 tags. <laughs> Have a look at mm. it, get it fixed urgently, like put it at the top of your list, you know, um, and then just watch the sales come flooding through basically. Yeah. So yeah, go, go, literally go do that. If you're listening or watching this podcast and when you do it, drop a comment and tell us how much your traffic's increased over the next few weeks, um, just from making that change. Because it can be, like you said, there's businesses there missing out on 170 clicks a month, potentially, which could be massive for their business. Um, yeah. if they're at zero at the moment, so yeah, try it out, drop a comment down below and let us know how much your traffic's increased and uh, we'll send you an invoice. <laughs> no, no, as, as our good friend, as, sorry, I, I wish I could our say good friend. He, was, he was my good friend, Alex from Mosey, but as Alex from Mosey says, <laughs> we've got nothing to sell you and we really don't like go and do this yourself. Speak to your dev. It'll take them like five minutes. You know, they'll probably mm. charge you like 50 bucks. Do it. You have to do it. You know, like, you know, so yeah, away you go. Um, good luck. Let us know if you need some help. Though. <laughs> We're here to help you. Yep. All jokes aside, yeah, definitely get that done in your business. Hopefully that's been useful. This is a slightly longer episode. Um, definitely worth going to watch the video for the visuals for those of you listening on the podcast. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on another one very, very soon. Cheers. Bye.